Hello everyone. My name is Kevin Everyman. I'm a proud American, I'm a combat veteran, and I'm a very concerned citizen. Recently, I saw the bloodshed at this shooting in Orlando, and I was moved. You know, there had been a lot of mass shootings before, but, you know, I was busy those other times. But this time, I decided, hey, I'm going to make a video and speak out. And I was so inspired by those three kids. You know, the media, they could have picked any of these kids from Parkland because every kid out there supports gun control. But they picked the three kids who are brave enough to go out and say, hey, look, we have the shaved heads. We have the snarky demeanor. We're not afraid to be rude to anybody who disagrees with us. In fact, they picked the kids who are brave enough to say, look, we're just more enlightened than you adults. We went to public schools in Florida, so we know more than you. And if you don't agree with us, you're for child death. God, it's just so brave, so heartwarming. And uh, they're so likable, right? I mean, how could anybody not support these kids? Especially after the way they really put Rubio in his place in that crowded theater with all those people who agreed with them and that sheriff who... Obviously, was you know he's lost, so he must be bad. Except he agreed with us too. Um, but yeah, I mean, geez, guys, they're just so brave. So that moved me. This right here is a, a weapon of mass destruction that I bought because, well, you know, I wanted to defend my family, but it's just not worth it, guys. Because I can't be responsible with a weapon that I bought. I just don't trust myself, and none of us should trust ourselves. I mean, what do we need a gun like this for? It's not like the government's going to come knocking on our door and say, hey, look, give up your firearms, because we're going to do it first. So, um, you know, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and toss this. Yes, that's so liberating. Oh, you know what else? Uh, while I'm at it, I have this knife here. Uh, you know, this... This object, you could stab somebody, you could cut them with it. I'm going to toss that too. I'm going to turn them all in. Man, I'm so brave. I saw all these other people making videos like this, and I just thought, gosh, this is the time. You know, there's no way those people who are doing this are paid activists or, or people with any kind of political agenda. They're just regular Americans like me. Uh, you know, I found these scissors. And you could chop somebody with them. I mean, you could go on a mass chopping spree. I better turn these in, too. I'm going to call the ATF tomorrow and tell them I have all this stuff. Uh, look, there's these pliers. Guys, pliers are so dangerous. You could put them up somebody's nose like that and just, you know, kill them instantly. So we better get rid of those. Oh, I shouldn't forget this. This is a bottle of pills. These could be used to poison somebody or, you know, this, I can't get these open because it's got this thing on here, but maybe a kid could get this thing open. So I better get rid of those pills too. Um, and while I'm at it, look, my shoelaces, gosh, just imagine how many lives we could save if we didn't have shoelaces everywhere. I'll toss those. So, wow, guys, I feel so liberated right now. You know, I bought those objects because I thought they'd be fun to own and I thought I needed them, but the fact that they were here made me think that, you know, I hadn't committed any crime before, but just because I owned them, they were a danger to people because I could go out and commit crime one day. You never know, right? And we're at a point in this country's history where we have to all come together and realize that we can't trust ourselves anymore. Whenever somebody does something bad, we need to trust the state to keep us safe. You know, we need to trust the police, and that's who needs to have the guns, not us. Because look, look how those brave police in Florida saved so many lives. Um, and then the kids, we have to listen to the kids. You know, they're right when they say the Founding Fathers didn't imagine us having these weapons of mass destruction. I mean, back then, all they had was cannons and blunderbusts and pocket guns. They didn't have anything like it. 10 round clip or a, or a semi-automatic rifle. Jeez, guys. And, and you know, look, 
I heard one of these kids on television this morning saying we need to get woke on these issues. And I don't know what woke means, but we're going to get there, guys. He, he was saying we can win midterms. And I don't know who we are, but uh, gosh, you know, we can do it, guys. We can go out and win midterms, whatever that means. So let's go out, win midterms. Let's get woke. Let's take down Trump and the Russian bots. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'm feeling good about this. Everybody turn in your guns. It's the right thing to do. Thank you, guys. God bless America. And the obituary. Oh, yeah, cockroach naps. Rattling.